these are just some uh, some addendums that I think you'll find useful. You need to know these because the whole point of this class is I want you to learn how to be creative, start getting creative with your allocations, and these are ways to allocate. So two, two metrics you need to memorize, and I'll have these on your quiz, so just memorize them, uh, and it'll be easy answers. Uh, raw materials inventory turnover, and days sales and materials of inventory. I have explanations of these in here when you have download the slides. The idea here is raw materials inventory turnover, it's just beginning material inventory and ending material inventory divided by two. And what we're saying here is uh, that's our average materials inventory. The inventory turnover is raw materials used by the average materials and inventory. So what we're determining here is how often are we purchasing a new supply of inventory. That's helpful for management because maybe we should be buying it more often if we if it's cheap for us to purchase. It, or if we get really big purchasing discounts and our warehousing is really cheap, maybe we want to have it less often. So it's just a good metric to have. And this is how often we hold on to, uh, we, how many days it takes for us to sell raw materials. And so obviously we want to sell it quickly. And so this is a good metric to have uh, in order to determine if or how quickly we're selling it. So we take our ending raw materials inventory divided by our raw materials used times 365. And so this is the raw materials used in the year. And so we're saying, okay, we have, let's say 10,000 in our ending. We used uh, 360,000, 365,000. We know that we, we did the division. Well, let's do it here. So let's say we had 10,000 in the end, ending, we had 365. And then we times it by 365. It means we sold the inventory. The average date it takes to sell inventory is 10 days. And then we can determine as management does that seem too fast? Does that seem too slow? Generally, we want to sell it faster. And we ped this against our competition. They, oh, well, our competition is selling it in seven days. How do we move quicker? What's wrong with our process? What are they doing better than us? So these metrics are used for comparison to either other departments within our company, with other, other, uh, other products in our company, or even our competitors. So that's the end of chapter one. Again, expect you to memorize this. And... Uh, let me know if you have any questions. So I'm going to stop recording and just let you guys ask some questions, and we'll take a 10-minute break before we go to Chapter 2. So I'll stop recording now.